Hello, ladies and gentlemen, guys. This is the Dirty Russian GOAT here, the dirtiest Russian around, and I'm going to be talking about the Easter egg. I'm going to be kind of telling you guys how to do the Easter egg. It's just a small, small tutorial. I don't have gameplay from the Easter egg, but I do uh, give you some custom games gameplay right here. Um, basically, guys, uh, you're going to be looking at uh, just a simple tutorial all the steps sh cut short I'm not gonna be explaining what to do in the middle you guys can figure that out for yourselves but I'm just gonna start right now so this is the Richtofen Easter egg and uh, this Richtofen Easter egg um, is going to be in the end hate to break it to you but uh, I'm gonna be spoiling something right here so if you want you can mute the volume for like 10 seconds but um, Richtofen takes over Stuhlinger and uh, and the, that's all we get and we know that A, the next map is either going to be doing something with the Rift or B, it's going to take us to a moon expansion, so like a moon 2 maybe. But anyway, going on with the Easter egg guys now is that uh, Richtofen, the first step is to turn on the power. Um, the power is located above the candy shop around there. Uh, it doesn't cost money to get to there really. I think it costs like 750 for one door. You should be good though. Um... It, it's not that hard. You can't turn it off like you could in uh, transit, but once you turn it on, Richtofen will say something, blah, blah, blah. You need it for jug anyway, so that's a good thing. The next step is to build the nav card table, guys. The nav card table um, pieces, there's th four pieces in total, but there's three in one area and one in the other. One is going to be in the spawn below you, and the way to get there is you're going to have to break the two fountains. Again, if you don't know what it is that, guys, I'm not going to be explaining in this video, but you're going to break the two fountains, one with Huckleberry, um, it's in front of the graveyard, and two is going to be in the maze with a ray gun or ray gun mark two. Once you destroy it, guys, you're going to be uh, going to go ahead and uh, jump through the portal. You're going to get an achievement, and then you can add the nav card table pieces, um, and that's where you're going to find the meteor rock. But the other three pieces are on the right side of the B23R, and again, guys, you can take that down with Huckleberry. You can't float over it with the player laser, so you are going to have to use Huckleberry to do it. Next step, guys, is uh, to get this Paralyzer, the new wonder weapon of the game. And there's going to be four orbs around the map that you have to charge up for Richtofen. And once you charge it up, he's going to get happy and stuff. And so basically, you're going to get the one orb. It's on the left side of the saloon. Um, you're going to get the second orb, which is upstairs of the saloon. It's in the tunnels. Um, the third one is going to be on the left side of the church, which is in the graveyard. And the fourth one is going to be behind the mansion um, of the ghost. It's not Samantha, by the way. It's just the ghost. And, uh, basically, it's going to be, uh, the, behind the mansion and in front of the maze. So it's in the middle, basically. And, um, after you charge up all four, Richtofen will say something again, guys, and, uh, you can move on to the next step. Now, this step, these four steps, this last one right here is building the guillotine. You can build the guillotine at any time you really want to. Um, but it is one of the first four preliminary steps that you need to do or you can't go on. So the guillotine um, has four parts. One is the crystal. It's in the tunnels. The second one is a spool of thread. It's after the bank and before the chalk room. And the third one is going to be um, the antenna, which is found um, in the barn, in the below the barn, technically, or in the barn area, the haystack. Um, the fourth is above the saloon, outside on the porch. Now, once you build this, again, Richtofen gets happy, says something, you have to move on to the next step. Now, once you build a guillotine, you do the nav card table, you turn on the power, and you charge up the orbs, you should see a lantern floating up in the sky. Um, it doesn't go past the mansion, so as long as you're in the town area, you should see a lantern. What you're going to do with this lantern is go ahead and throw a grenade at it. Um, it needs lethal power to be knocked down, uh, so you go ahead, knock it down, and you pick it up. Once you pick it up, Richtofen will say something, and you're going to go ahead and uh, go into the mansion of uh, the witches, and you're going to have to kill five to six witches. You're going to be hearing dings, and when you hear the loudest ding, Richtofen A will say something, and B, um, you're going to just get the next step. Now, once you finally do this last step, and you go ahead and get this lantern, you're going to put it into this uh, sign above the barn. Uh, to get to that top of the barn, the easiest way is to jump from the saloon um, top to the uh, barn top, and you're going to go ahead and just basically pretty simple. You'll want to go there and um, 
put it in. There's going to be a cipher, guys, when you put it in, and uh, this brings us to our next step. And uh, you can go ahead if you know how to decipher it. That's the easiest way. But if you don't like deciphering things, you don't want to take it the long way, you're going to go ahead and get the galvan knuckles anyway if you do decipher it or you don't. You're going to go up to the tunnels. In the tunnels, there are five different signs. You're going to have dry shaft. You're going to have um, uh, consumption. I call it consumption. You're also going to have, uh, let me think here. Uh, you're going to have Vine, which is always last. You're going to have Biter, and you're going to have another one I can't remember the name of. Anyway, you're going to hit Dry first with the Galvan Knuckle sign. They should grow red smoke. Then you're going to hit the second one, which is the middle. It's going to be Biter, Consumption, or the third one I can't remember. And then once you do that, you're going to have Vine left. Once you have Vine, you're going to go ahead and um, hit them. If you hit them properly, you should see an orb appear, and uh, Richtofen will talk to Stillinger again. Now, basically, if this does work properly, you're going to go ahead and uh, chase the orbs. In the end, the orbs will take you to the guillotine, and then the guillotine will fully power. Now, this brings us to the next step, guys, and uh, once the guillotine is fully um, powered with the orb, the orb itself has to power up internally, so you're going to go ahead, take the orb, and uh, let zombies come close to you. Once the zombies come close to you, you're going to see orbs appear on their hands, and you're going to kill them. Now, it takes up a total of five zombies to kill these, um, for the orbs to charge up, so get ready for that. Once five of them die, you will hear Richtofen speak about something switching a lever and uh, picking up a time bomb. What you're going to do is you're going to take the time bomb, and you're going to go ahead and throw it onto the guillotine crystal. Once you throw it on there, make sure all four players are near it, and you're going to press the time bomb button, and you're going to go into infinity mode, guys. Infinity mode is the new thing for the Richtofen Easter egg, and uh, basically, once you have this fully done, you're going to go into infinity mode, and infinity mode, you cannot kill any of the zombies, but you can kill the witches. Basically, you're going to be looking for Samuel Stullinger's um, body, you're going to be looking for Marlton's, Misty's, and uh, Russman's body. Once you find all four bodies, you have to search them. It'll give you an option, you just hold X and you search them. Once you search them, when you get to the last one, uh, it's going to tell you that you find a switch. And uh, basically, you're going to go ahead, find the switch, and um, in the end, once you're done with that, you're going to go ahead and uh, go back to regular mode. Going back to regular mode is either keep all four of you guys or wait for infinity time to run out. Once that happens, you're going to go ahead and put that switch that you found onto the um, this uh, guillotine. And uh, that's basically it for that step. Then you're going to go ahead, once you put that switch on, it's going to activate something in the maze. The maze is going to unlock into something bigger than you thought. It's going to have levers on every single door that there is. So in the end, you're going to have to put these doors in order down. Now, there's four different colors. It's going to be red, yellow, blue, and green. And this is always random. There's no possible way of knowing how to do it. Um, apparently, if you hit it properly, you should see a spark every single time on the lever that you do properly. If not, I'll put down in the comp I'll put down in the description below the 24 different combinations, guys, so it'll be easier for you guys. Uh, basically, from there, if you hit the right combination, it brings you to our last step in this Easter egg, finally. And uh, you're going to have to do a sharpshooter task. The sharpshooter task involves four different spots where you're going to have to shoot cardboard cardboard cut out, cutouts of cowboys um, and basically once you hit all of them you have to hit a hundred percent and if you hit all a hundred percent of these cardboard cutouts you're gonna get seven perks permanently and you're going to get the Easter egg 75g mind games um, along with this guys I want you to know that this Easter egg can take up to three hours due to the fact that the cardboard cutouts and the levers take an hour apiece matters how good your team is um, if not that I just say good luck, and uh, I'd like you to remember that this Easter egg does give you 75G, it gives you 7 perks permanently for a game, and there is now a glitch, it's not for the Easter egg, but is that if you have 5 perks or 4 perks, solo play or public match, in zombies, and you get downed and you get back up, you're going to keep 
three out of the four, or four out of the five, or five out of the six, or so on, so on, of the perks that you had. So if you have Jug and Speed Cola, and you go down, you're gonna get to keep Jug or Speed Cola, whenever, uh, whichever one you guys got first. So that's uh, something to head out there. I'm sorry I couldn't give you guys a gameplay. Is that uh, when, once we finish the Easter egg on my game, is that happened? Um, what happened is that uh, the East, um, I we got lagged out because a the theater took up so much memory that it died out and we got our uh, bandwidth just broke due to the fact of so many zombies on around like 30 or 29 so um thanks guys for watching uh, i really appreciate it if you could leave a like comment and if you have any uh you know troubles leave it down in the comments please subscribe guys i will be adding new videos showing you how the best way to do solo play buried and just a bunch of other stuff that could possibly help you become a better zombie player than you already are guys uh, i really do hope you enjoyed this uh if you have a easier way on how to do the levers that'd be appreciated guys if not i do hope you have luck with the combinations you might get lucky and on the 10th or 11th combination you will get to a situation where you get to keep it or you might be one of the unlucky people who are on the 24th combination and you finally get the easter egg um to the last step guys thanks for watching guys and like always have a nice day